Suddenly, there is September. Hopefully, it brings things that August couldn't. Though I can't help but wonder, as I watch the leaves, the scents, if I could shed off and fall to pieces as well, and show up brand new and beautiful next spring. I feel like trying again. I feel like trying again. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and it's quarter final of the year, right? Time humbles you. It humbles you in a way you will never expect and won't think you need and we never see it coming. But it will, just the same. It gives you the chances to stand at the top of the opportunities to fall, to stand on stage and to fit into the blow of everyone else. Time to choose you to live the kind of life you run from once and to dig deeper and deeper into the souls of the hearts that walk this earth with you. But mostly, it teaches you to see, to see what matters and what doesn't. When an ending is a beginning and when an end is an end, to you all my darlings and to you viewing this particular video clip, you're going to get a bit of it all. You're going to feel like you have got it all handled and you're all completely lost. You will feel like you have it all figured out and also like you have absolutely no idea what you're even doing. You're going to change your heart and your eyes and your mind and your style and your footsteps. You're going to fit in and stand out just like I am, be loved and be broken. And I can't promise you how much of it you're going to get. But I can promise you one thing. This world, this world is going to know you were here. Mark my words. You're going to crave your name in times and it's going to be remembered. Welcome to my diary spill. Dear jewelry, we all need to survive even though we are chasing the winds and finding fun moments in our vanities. It must gone in 2024 and gratefulness does it, just moving, slowly and steady. Yours truly, Empress. Yeah, so, um, at this very clip, we're going to talk on just on personal development and what so far I've learned for myself. The biggest thing and what makes most so much the biggest thing and what makes so much sense to me is the way I respond to things. Me trying to choose a particular way to respond to things, regardless. It's all about what I choose. The power is in the response, not what or what happened or what circumstances or anything. And I'm so grateful about that. And um, it's for me it's just a massive one and a nice one indeed. And that's the first thing. And, and the second thing, it's really something I knew and um, I'm just rather trying to impact more on it or rather work more on it. So when it comes to my diary spill and for me, it's all about forging ahead with the guidelines and enjoying every moment. Now, being very much conscious of it and there's something I am so sure that I'm going to let go and I'm not going to complain about that again and this and this is it and it's all about it's all about not trying to feel like oh i'm so conscious about the time yeah being pressured and being overwhelmed now is going to be more of like a privilege than procrastinating shouting clamoring criticizing and probably crying about that because not me i'm not longer gonna care about it so I'm not gonna feel as if I am time caged. Yeah, that's the word. Time caged for what? Like we're living and I'm gonna enjoy every moment of it. So this is for the diary spirit of the past eight months of 2024. And for the last mistake, which I am so conscious that I'm really still stuck up or I find myself most times doing is like I just I wanna plan so much. I, I, I give my time so much to planning. I don't know if is it really that I want to make it perfect? And I am still so scared about taking a move or taking a step because I don't want to make this drastic mistake. But here it is again. And um, for this diary spill, I'm just going to be conscious about taking the move. Yeah, let me make the mistake. 
but it's so heartbreaking that some of this mistake might be very drastic. Before doing sports, I can't just keep planning, planning without doing, and I am so sure about so much, so many of, so much, or rather, so many of the good news coming in this September. Yeah, let's just take a lunch. That's it's all about. It's it's about that time. Yeah, it's about that time. It's quarter final of the year. What should be your focus area and to what end will this focus area help to impact your life? Here are five simple focus area tricks. I'm really trying this out, so you should too. Focusing on key areas can help set the tone for a productive and a fulfilling September. Here are five things that I would like to prioritize and I also hope you prioritize that. Goal setting and planning. With the year entering its final quarter, it's crucial to review your goals and set clear actionable plans for what you want to achieve by the end of the year. Prioritize tasks that align with your long-term objectives. And as long as you end up doing one thing in a day, it is fine and beautiful. Number two, health and wellness. As season changes, it's great time to refocus on physical and mental health. Establish or refine routines for exercises, nutrition, and mindfulness to maintain your well-being. Number three, financial management. Assess your financial goal and budgeting. With holidays approaching, it's essential to plan for upcoming expenses and save accordingly. Consider investment opportunity or strategize to reduce debt. Number four, skill development. Use September to enhance your skills, whether through formal education, online courses, or self-directed learning. This can prepare you for any opportunities in your career or personal project. Someone said, so far you are surviving, it's all you need. Just survive every day you wake up. Just keep surviving. Because usually to me, this world is all about, all about two things. Align with the goal, having reverence for God and enjoying your life to the fullest. The five, relationship and networking. Strengthen both your personal and professional relationship. Reconnect with old contact and expand your network to support both personal well-being and professional growth. These areas help a balanced and a productive month. So we are entering the quarter final of the year 2024. And what a better year to be alive and living. In a big to survive, in a big to live the, the life we deserve. We just get to be really conscious of the TikTok time. I learned last month that assuming your whole responsibility comes with great powers, it's really expand your horizon on what you can do. So, <laughs> setting the stage for a strong finish to the year 2024, and that's what we all want to hear, at least myself. And for what is worth, we are living. Have you ever been wondering? Are you really making progress and is it all worth it or rather you stuck? Yeah, but the beautiful thing is that every day you're surviving and I have a good news for you. We, I mean you and me, are going to embark on September challenge. You can pick up your diary, you can do anything that will keep track of your video or whatever. I mean, I'm going to use both my diary and my video to embark on September challenge. And it's going to be Saturdays. Let's see how we show up to that. Yeah, the main thing, whatever, even though we dream, we dream, just the mentality and the ability to try or whatever to try to be consistent is all we need. Even if we fail at it, we're all human. And but then it is what it is. I'm not trying to sound so serious, but I really love writing. There was a time when my diary held my deepest thoughts and my fears and my whole. I will pour out my heart onto its pages, believing that capturing each moment would somehow keep me alive. But as days grew busier, the diary found itself forgotten, buried beneath the weight of new responsibilities and endless to-do lists. Meanwhile, I realized that life doesn't wait for us, sincerely, to write it down. It moves forward, whether we're ready or not, and so, I learned to embrace the present, 
even if it meant letting go of the habit of recording every details. There is a great need to just move on, to keep going, even if our steps are small. Life is all about living, not just, you know, the recording. And to those we have lost along the way, our memories of you remain attached in our hearts, even if they don't fill the pages of a diary. And to those who stand by us now, thank you for your unwavering support. Here is to moving forward little by little and toasting the moments and people who make it all worthwhile. I can't wait to see you in the next video. All right, guys, thank you for watching this video and expect more. Make sure you watch the one over here and see you in my next video. Bye.